In this video, I am going to show you how you can add cinematic bars in CapCut. So first of all, what you are going to do is you are going to open CapCut application. If you already have an icon of CapCut on your desktop, you can just simply double click on that to open CapCut. But if you don't have that icon on your desktop, you can just simply type into the search box of Windows for CapCut. And from the search results, just click on that and after that CapCut will be opened. Here you are going to click on new project to start creating a new video. Then you are going to click on import to import any files from your computer. After that, you are going to drag and drop your files into the timeline. So there are different ways how you can add bars in your project. First of all, you can go into the mask option from the right side of the screen and then you can click on mirror. You can adjust mirror from here. And if you play the video, you will be able to see here a decent bar. If you are unable to do this, first of all, I am going to remove this mask from here. And what you can do is you are going to go into the effects section from the left side of the screen. And then you are going to search for movie and then hit enter. After that you will be able to see here this bar effect. So you are going to drag and drop this into your timeline. And then you can adjust it by dragging from its corners. Here again you will be able to see here a decent bar. For example if you also want to add opening and closing of this bar. I am going to show you how you can do it. For this, you are going to click on video effects located at the upper left side of the screen. Here, you will be able to see here third option which is opening and closing. You are going to click on that. And here, you are going to scroll down until you see these closings and openings. If you have a vertical video, you can use any of these. But if you have a horizontal video, you are going to scroll down more until you find this horizontal opening. So you are going to drag and drop this into your timeline and if we play the video again we are able to see here a decent opening of our bar. Similarly if you want to add a closing you can choose this one or either you can scroll up back until you see this horizontal close. Once you find your favorite one you are going to drag that into your timeline and then you can adjust that according to your clip. And then if we play the closing, you are able to see here a decent closing of our clip with the bar.